Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use uh, the auto router inside the Cadence PCB tools. So we've got a board here that's been placed, we've got some rule sets, we want to maybe do some uh, some auto routing with it. So we've got a couple of options, we can look at the root, PCB router. So we can use um, root editor for example, if we click on the root editor what this does is launch Spectra as a standalone tool, so it's the Allegro PCB auto router. Um, and you can then go and utilize and use this. Um, this is good if you know how to use the tools. Um, there are some help documents that are going to help you go through it. Um, but it allows you to use the auto router. If you don't know how to use the auto router, then actually being able to launch it from within inside PCB Editor can be a real, quite an advantageous uh, workflow. So what we can do instead of doing that, uh, we can go to root, PCB router, root automatic. And this effectively uses a, a, a slightly different interface, but it's still using the same auto router in the background. And it allows you to maybe specify the what you want to route quite quickly um, without having to learn a completely new tool. So you've got different settings here for the routing, different routing layers, etc. You can do the routing passes where you can decide whether you want to do things like fan outs or bus routing, or just add some uh, routing modes or clean at test points, etc. Um, I think you just need to kind of have, experiment with these settings and find out what you want to do. I, I mean, I would normally say a, a, a fan out, a route, a clean, but then maybe do another route mode. Um, let's do 50 passes, starting at pass 16. Uh, and then we'll do another clean, just to tidy up the board. Uh, a couple of clean modes. We can do things like um, center the wires, spread wires, mitre corners, so maybe delete conflicts, get rid of any DRCs that it, it, it does. Uh, maybe some mitre corners and you've got different settings for the mitre corners option there's some different controls for the fan out so maybe what we want to do is specify maybe a, a, a millimeter maximum fan out via length um, and you can add sharing vias if you want to get involved with anything of like that there's some bus routing options there's some seed via options some test point options spreading the wire options the mitre corners we've been through and then obviously the elongation if you've got any length matching that you need to do you can choose to maybe use different sorts of kind of you know uh, elongation or delay tuning, whether you use sawtooth accordion or trombone, that's kind of your choice. There's also um, some smart router options where you can choose a, a different mode for, for routing. Um, the routing passes is normally fine. And then there's a selections option that allows you to kind of say, you know, I could I could pick a specific sort of nets if I wanted. If I didn't want to route the whole design, I could just do certain nets. We'll leave the whole design for this one and we'll just click on route. When the auto route finishes, um, the menu still stays available here, so I can kind of zoom in and have a look and make sure I'm happy with it. If I am, I can then effectively just close this down. The alternative would be to an undo. You can look at the results, and it will give you the different res res results um, from the auto router if you're interested in that type of uh, analysis. Uh, but that's basically the auto router, uh, which should get you going from a routing point of view.